Good morning, Chuck here and Paige with no time to be sad here somewhere in Houston, Texas. I've taken Paige to her friend's house and I'm headed fishing. I'm gonna go meet up my buddy Rick and uh, we're gonna head out in the morning to go fishing. I haven't put gas in my car and or any car in so long in Thailand, you know, they do that for you. But I couldn't find the damn fuel switch. I've been a mechanic most of my life and it's embarrassing I had to go to YouTube to try to find the damn I am too smart. I am too smart. I am too smart. I am too smart. SMRT. I mean SMRT. I've looked everywhere, but it's hidden. It was hidden underneath the floor mat, so yeah. But fuel is uh let me see. I know somebody's gonna ask for regular unleaded gasoline. Here is 239. I saw it for like 222 in some places but uh in california it was like 375 a gallon but, uh, for a regular unleaded but uh, anyway we are on the hunt to go find some breakfast tacos and uh, it's gonna be a fun day so uh yeah yesterday i was gonna video yesterday but i changed my mind we went to uh we went to academy I was gonna show you some things. I've got a pretty good selection of sporting goods and stuff like that in the store, but I was, I know a lot of people are interested in, you know, guns in America, you know, but I was trying to show you guys the gun cases and stuff, but everybody got so weird in there when I was walking around with a camera in front of the guns, you know, they're like, invading their privacy but I, I get it but I was like oh shit maybe I maybe I shouldn't do this because I feel like a stalker or something you know or who knows what they think we could think I'm with Antifa or something I, I don't know but anyway I just didn't film we just hung out I made Brent some pizza it turned out okay wasn't really used to his uh his oven I'm going to cut through all these damn parking lots trying to find a place to eat, which is illegal to do <laughs> in America. Um, but actually, I'm on a mission to try to find some food, so we'll see. Maybe I'm looking for like a, uh, a taco stand or something. Or not a taco, but like a, a donut shop to get her like a sandwich or something, you know? Well, we got, it's called a kolache, which is uh, usually sausage, but we got ham and cheese. Kolache, probably really hot. Yeah. Well, I dropped Paige off at her longtime friend's house. Paige has a lot of friends here in Texas. I guess because she lived here most of her life um, in the Houston area. She's got quite a bit of friends that, that still live here and a lot of them that have moved back to Thailand. But uh, I uh, I just want to talk to you guys. Let me, let me share the road instead of you looking at me while I'm talking. I've gotten a lot of comments about uh, our trip here in the United States, which is awesome. 99% of them have been really good. Uh, just want to clear up some confusion in case anybody else is confused. I know people don't watch all of my videos. I know there's a lot of them, but I, I made a uh, video about what we're going to be doing, our plans here in the United States, uh, an, an update video. Kind of shared that with you. I really just wanted to make these videos just so you guys could get really kind of an idea of you know, maybe a different perception of America. I, I'm not taking you everywhere. America is huge, of course, uh, but maybe just a little bit so you guys can see something that you that you haven't seen. But I get a lot of comments from people, a lot of negative stuff, and, and it seems like maybe they really don't live in the United States. They just have a strong opinion about the standard here. And I, I don't understand that kind of thinking, you know. I, a lot of people want me to do a comparison between uh, Thailand and the United States whenever I get back, but 
it's difficult for me to really do that because I'm trying to just keep an open mind these days of everything. It's human nature to have an opinion or a perception about something or a first impression of when we see something. But we got to try to have an open mind about, you know, things aren't always the same or, or it's not always going to be the, the same scenario every time. You know, anytime you travel to another country, there's an adjustment phase, whether it's the diet, the climate, um, the people, the language, the culture. There's always an adjustment period everywhere you go. And we've been to South America, Central America, we've been in Europe, we've been in Asia. Every place that we've ever gone, we've had to do an adjustment of our diet, you know. Uh, I guess I could just say the bathroom, you know, it's it's always different. Thailand, it's no problem going to the bathroom, you just can't stop, you know. But it uh, doesn't mean Thai food is bad, it's just, you know, it has a lot of bacteria that we're not used to when we go there and then you get over it after a couple of days and then you really feel great when you... I, I would say that the food in Thailand is much better than the food here in the United States, um, at least health how I feel when I eat I feel so much better there than here but that's not fair to say that that's exactly how America is in general because you can get all kinds of quality fruit and vegetables and, and all kinds of things and you can cook your own food and there's a lot of healthy people here in the United States and there's a lot of healthy people every, in every country that'd be like you know a lot of a lot of Americans, uh, you know, they, they also think like England doesn't eat anything but fried foods and fish and chips, you know, and they're all snobs, <laughs> you know, but you know, that's not true. You know, not all Americans think that. And, you know, I'm trying to share prices of things as I go. Um, I think a lot of people like to know prices of things because every time I don't share that, they ask. So I try to I try to let you know what the cost of things are. I don't work anymore. I'm I'm only have the money that I have, and the things are things are a lot more expensive than they were a year and a half ago when we came here last. Um, you know, people are making some people are making more money and then the price of goods have gone up as well i just went to bucky's i bought some really uh nice looking sandwiches okay i got a bag full of awesome sandwiches look at all that meat in that thing <laughs> i got two for me and two for rick and uh one is uh yeah, that looks pretty good too and I got me a lunch little barbecue sandwich. $32 for that. But you know, when I lived here, not, not my businesses that I owned, but when I was an auto mechanic, you know, I was an auto mechanic for most of my life and I, you know, I kind of peaked out. I made $42 um, as a mechanic on like a flat rate hour. So I made a really good living, but the cost of things are high. In Thailand, everything's extremely cheap, but the average worker in Thailand makes about 10 to $15 a day. So, um, you know, things are expensive for them in Thailand. But I think that's the same in any country, right? I have noticed in myself, the last time that I came here, I was hypersensitive when it came to the culture, the American culture, uh, the, just the way people talk and the way people think. And, you know, they worry about every single thing. But I, right now in my life, I really don't care. I just try to keep an open mind and everybody's different. Everybody has different needs. And try not to compare everybody to myself and my own standards and the way I've seen things and believe things should be in life so everything is different I try to have an open mind and, and I'm not really bothered by the way people talk or think or act any as much I'll say coming back here I'm sure it'll progressively get better <laughs> for me but um you know my friends
friends we're staying at their house they've got a big house uh, a lot of people said that's over the top they make a lot of money so that's actually a pretty modest home that's noisy that's a modest home and a good investment for their lifestyle uh, for them you know and then uh, my daughter has a really nice house in San Francisco area and you know her and her husband are in the military in the military they give you a housing allowance they're able to pay their mortgage on that house and put up a, a lot of money with just that housing allowance so if they lived off base they wouldn't get that housing allowance so it's smart for them to do that uh, and have an investment whether they stay in California or not you know yeah but my friend's house that we're going to, he uh, has a lot of land. He lives modestly. He lives out in the country, really out in the middle of nowhere, but that's what he likes. That's what makes him happy. Uh, my daughter, my friends, they probably couldn't live like, like my buddy does, but uh, you know, we all gotta do what we like, what makes us happy. So instead of insulting people or saying that a, a country, a nation, a culture is uh, you know, out to destroy everybody in the world, it's not, it's not the case. Uh, that's not always true. We just need to try to uh, look beyond, uh, I guess, CNN, right? I've been to a lot of places in the world that are very dirty places, but uh, it was mostly in the city areas and the tourist areas, and I thought, wow, this place is, I'm never coming back here. But when you get outside, it's different, it's beautiful. Not all places are the same. Um, I really want to go to the Taj Mahal in India, but my but Paige just, uh, she doesn't like things to be unsanitary, and I don't either, so. Um, I don't, India is a huge country. I can't imagine it all being dirty, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just relax. I just want to show you a bit of the United States. We're headed to Florida next. Gonna spend some time on Miami Beach and Fort Lauderdale. Hopefully the sun's high and the, and the beaches are calm. The beaches are beautiful. And uh, hopefully I'll get a chance to spend a little bit with my identical twin, my father, <laughs> and, my, and my cousins, and my aunt. So I hope you guys continue to come with us. I um, had a lot of people say, oh, did you move back to America? What happened? Your visa ran out? You ran out of money? You know, all the, you know, the things that would probably make them happy if I failed. But um, no, we're only here for a few more weeks, headed back home. I can't wait to get home to Thailand, uh, but I'm, I'm happy to come home and visit my kids, which uh, I still got to see my other two boys next weekend and my other grandkids, and life is good. We're going to go fishing. I'm sure my buddy has got some steak stalled and some bourbon on ice, and uh, we're going to spend the next three days down in the, uh, down in the bay catching some awesome speckled trout that's gonna be super fun don't miss that let's go well there's my old travel trailer Sure had a great time in that travel trailer right there. That was some awesome, awesome road trips. Yep, that was a good trailer. Well, this is my buddy Rick's house. I don't know where he's got the boat parked. Now. Boy, it is hot here. <laughs> Pretty dry, too. We won this truck uh, in a bass tournament. This Toyota Tundra.
Well, here's Rick. You guys remember Rick, right? <laughs> My good old buddy Rick. I sure miss that trailer. It's a good trailer. You want me to sleep in that tonight? Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> All right, let's get settled in. Oh. Come here, kitty. It's a big cat. Come on, kitty. Here's the friendship. Yes, sir. American bourbon, right? Yes. Tennessee bourbon? Or? Uh, what is this? Benchmark. It's benchmark? made by Wellers. Mm. Yeah. I think he wants a scratch, huh? He's got fleas so bad. Well guys, that's it. We're fixing to go in. You made a brisket, huh? Yeah. We're gonna eat some brisket for dinner. Go to bed early. Rick says we gotta get up at four. Yeah. Four in the morning. We got a what, a couple hour, three hour drive? Three hour drive. About three hours to uh, get to the water in the morning. It's gonna be super awesome. Rick says we're gonna catch tons of fish. That's right. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you come with us. If you liked the video today, don't forget to click like. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Say bye, kitty. Yeah. <laughs>